what a source of inspiration it was, I suppose, for 45 years. Yeah, Herb was one of the most intuitive mathematicians I've ever known. Mm. But he just sees relationships that other people don't. That he's rediscovered uh, a number of things that, you know, have been done formally by other people, but he just does it in his head. Like those projections of the scale. Yeah, they correspond to projections of higher order polytips. he does different things, but Irv obviously came across it on his own. <coughs> and the projections of those uh, figures uh, is something that's really, what they call the maybe modern synthetic geometry or projective geometry. And he does that in completely too. For example, he has those, those triads. They're not just intonation, but the different tones are in tune and the beating rates are, are proportional. Would you call Irv kind of a cartographer, in a sense? Of oh, yeah, unknown perceptual worlds? Yeah, you can call him that. He's certainly an explorer. Uh, is that I think he's the most intuitive mathematician I've ever known. Uh, I think it's because he has these immense powers of visualization. He told me that when he first had that circular projection of the icosme, with one tone on the outside and one on the inside, this sort of thing, he said he just visualized it one night. And I don't think he knew anything about multidimensional geometry. But I think this just completely just popped into his mind. And his ability to rotate those objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very much so. He is. Sort of see higher dimensional space intuitively, and he can rotate these things, do the projections of all these things. He has a, you know, this uh, sheets. I've got a lot of them, of things, of all the rotations around each of the tones sheets that you can draw them out, write about yourself if you know them. Um, he might be known for his keyboard designs too. Uh, once again, I think he's taken the uh, uh, generalized keyboard idea and applied it to many different systems. 